Hello everybody, Sanier, Engineer, MBA, and Investor. In today's video, I want to talk about Beam 101 officially recruiting for patients for their program. So this is big. This is big for a couple of reasons. First of all, Beam Therapeutics is really the only CRISPR company at this point that have not dosed any patients. If anything, they've got a Beam 201 program on hold, on pause by the FDA when they went for IND submissions, but that's Beam 201. They already had an existing program, Beam 101. Maybe if we have time here, we'll take a look at what Beam 101 really is, high level. Um, but just know that it's using obviously base editors there, and it's obviously about a specific disease that CTX001 is also tackling uh, sickle cell disease. So we'll take a look at it uh, shortly, but of course, I wanna talk about this tweet here from Mr. Zhao here, which should be no stranger at this point of this channel. We've covered some of, his, of some of their tweets as well in the past. He tweets, or she tweets, he or she tweets, Beam 101 is now actively recruiting and first patient was enrolled on August 30. This is the first base editing clinical trial in the US. Beam should announce it officially very soon. Let's hope everything goes well. So when he means Beam should announce it very soon because this is from clinicaltrial.gov which we'll take a look at the, the URL very shortly. But uh, when we're talking about Beam should be announcing it shortly, we're talking about uh, their press release. Of course, we saw press releases from Caribou, from Verve Therapeutics, even from Graphout Bio the last two, three months, stating that they've dosed their first patient and Beam 101 will be no different. We should be getting an official PR from Beam Therapeutics very shortly about how they've dosed their first patient. And of course, if now if you head on to that website, this is... Uh, uh, a, a clinicaltrials.gov site. This is a US. It's all, you know, I've already covered this uh, type of uh, website in the past, but every program there, therapeutics program in, in America, specifically in the US, has a program here. In this case, we're looking at the Beam Therapeutics. We could look at CRISPR Therapeutics for CTX01. We could look at any of these programs from I mean, TLA and so on. But in this case, we're obviously looking at Beam Therapeutics. And it looks like there's going to be about 15 uh, patients enrollment. And of course, we're in phase one, phase two of the program. This is, of course, treating sickle cell disease. Uh, you see here an official title of that program just over here. Uh, you see the start date is actually August 30th, 2022. So this looks like it was about, if you do the simple math, that that's about, uh, about a month and a week ago that they've actually enrolled their first patient. Uh, and of course, you see the progress here. Uh, at the, everything that they've done uh, so far. I don't know if I can find, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to find um, further details in this, but uh, there's uh, obviously a lot more going on here. They're going over uh, all the high level details of this program. Most of it, I'll be honest with you, is just more bureaucratic stuff that they have to submit anyways. But of course, when we're talking about specific details like timeline and so on, that is definitely important. Like numbers like estimation, estimated primary completion date, 2025, 2027 for estimated completion date. These are uh, estimates, okay? I'm not saying you should be sticking with those uh, years. Definitely not, but those are just estimates. Uh, but I think this is pretty good. So if you go back to this tweet here, uh, it looks like... Uh, it looks like we've gotten the first patient that was enrolled on August 30th. So this is really, really good, guys. I think, um, I think I'm think i really, really happy about this because uh, Beam Therapeutics was really the only CRISPR company that have not those any patient. I mean, if you take a look at the list, right, public companies in the U.S. or at least companies that you can trade on in the U.S., um, companies that we've covered, right, CRISPR Therapeutics, NTLA, Graphite Bio, Caribou, Aditas, Verb Therapeutics, all those companies are are all all companies that have dosed at least one patient uh, as of today, as we speak in 2022, uh, 4th of October, a beautiful Tuesday here. Uh, but of course, Beam, unfortunately, has not dosed any patients. So it looks like they've enrolled their first patient. It looks like they're going forward with Beam 101, as they should, because the hold is on Beam 201, which has nothing to do directly with Beam 101. Uh, indirectly, it has a lot to do because they're using base editors. But anyways, the point here is that Beam Therapeutics is going forward. 
it's an exciting year. It really is, guys. We've had like, if you make the calculation there, there's Graphite Bio that announced their first patient, Verve Therapeutics announced their first patient. Now you have Beam Therapeutics potentially announcing it this year, of course. We have two more months left, but I'm pretty sure we're going to get uh, an official PR release saying, saying they've dosed their first patient. So that's three CRISPR companies that literally dose patients this year. Uh, and we've gotten more data from CRISPR Therapeutics. We've gotten an FDA submissions for CRISPR Therapeutics. We've gotten more data for their other programs. In terms of NTLA, we've obviously gotten data for NTLA 2001, further data, but also we got in the first set of data for 2002, just over two weeks ago, uh, which you know blew people's minds away because they're now the first CRISPR company to uh, have two successful CRISPR programs under their portfolio. Even CRISPR Therapeutics couldn't have done that. Uh, we've gotten more data from uh, Caribou Biosciences. In fact, we got the first set of data this year from Caribou Biosciences, although I'm expecting another set of data here. Uh, the first one was really good. Second one sort of dropped the hype there. Hopefully, this latest set of data that they end up releasing in the next few weeks, months, will be a lot more exciting and a lot more uh, like the first set of data that they've released as people are really, really excited for after that first set of data for Caribou. So with the respect to their CAR T cell programs. And of course, next year, you know, don't forget all these companies dosing patients. That means next year they're going to be getting data, right? And so Caribou, uh, sorry, well, we will get more data from Caribou for sure, but, you know, Graphite Bio, Verve Therapeutics, and of course now Beam Therapeutics for sure will be getting some sort of data uh, this time next year for all three of those companies. Uh, and the great news in all of that is by this time next year, we'll definitely have a response from the FDA saying whether or not they submit, they accept the FDA submissions and go forward with approving FDA approval of CRISPR therapeutics and Verf ther um, Vertex program for CTA001. So exciting year, exciting year, guys. It really is. And what's crazier in that statement is that in the next 12 months, we'll even have a crazier year. Uh, but I'm very happy to see this, very bullish as an investor of Beam Therapeutics, very happy to see at least they have one program going for them. Uh, whether or not what happens with Beam 201, that's another topic maybe for another day. But thank you so much for guys for watching. We'll end this video like this. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about Beam 101 going forward here. As you can see, dosing potentially their first patient will be getting that PR release very, very soon from this company. So thank you so much for watching guys. Like this video, if you found value, subscribe if you're not, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.